Greetings, tis I, Gentleman33, and I am here at the back of my thrift store that I work at. It's a slow day, and uh, we have not a lot to do right now. I mean, and I'm on lunch anyway, so I figured, why not show you this comic book, The Dark Engine. And right away, I gotta say, even though I didn't like this comic, this cover is really cool. You have this woman hunched over. She's obviously pre of like prehistoric nature in some way, and it leads into this dark, maybe cave that she's looking over, or maybe she's just like you know on a precipice, uh, slightly over what looks to be a, uh, a I don't know like a dugout river bed or something like the start of one anyway either way this cover really got me and i was like oh this looks like a 50 cent comic i can afford so unfortunately <laughs> i didn't like it it's a uh, quite surprising to me to be honest i want to give though a special shout out to uh images comic like con like contents layout like this is very clever to have all of your social media stuff right after your name. So I hope, because this was published in 2014, so I really hope that this trend is taken over by now. Like It's very easy to see who did what, and it's also cool to look at the, uh, the names just written out. So if like I wanted to follow any of these people, I could. Anyway. There are three things that really bother me about this book. One is the inconsistency in art. Like, sometimes, like, look at her right here. It's sketchy, but, like, like, the colors are kind of cartoony. And she looks a little cartoony. And as you go through the book, like, some of it is so detailed. Look at this. Right? Like, that's cool. Look at all that. But then it becomes inconsistent because you look at some of these pages like uh like the splash page um right here like from the beginning it just doesn't something about this just looks different to me and i don't really love it <laughs> and i'm not sure why i just feel like the art style is a little inconsistent sometimes i look at it and i'm like that is so cool like uh, i really love when the art goes over the panels and uh, takes over the gutters. Like, that's cool to me. But then some of the other shots, like, uh, there's one where she's at a campfire that just kind of isn't for me. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm going to try not to show you too much. But, yeah, the art in this is, like, it goes from, like, really sketchy to just kind of meh, I guess. And the second thing that bothers me, though, is I don't know anything about this world. We start off with these demons and they're talking about how a dragon has arisen and it's haunting them and like this guy he's like <clears throat> inside the gighul around the fire the spore devils chirp at the dragon's return quivering and dribbling in anticipation for any news he may have of the one that birthed their world which sounds really cool, except I don't know what the dragon is about. They never explain that in this issue. They don't explain the world at all, so I have no idea how significant any of that is. I'm sorry that you can see the beads of sweat uh, right here, because I am sweating it up in super hot California, Sacramento, or Sacto Cali, as we like to call it here. We don't actually call it that. Anyway, the it's it's got all this exposition, but it doesn't mean anything to me. You eventually learn that a uh, chick on the front was sent uh, into the past to save these guys, these people, but for what? I don't know, and I don't, because everything's inconsistent, uh, and the exposition isn't very good. I have no idea where any of this is, or the stakes, or anything, like, spoilers, this guy who's got uh, 
this jerkish look right here with this other dude who's got his hand on him. He jumps off this giant spire because he's lost all hope for the chick that they sent back in time. But guess what? I have no idea why that's so important or why it's so bad that he doesn't think that she's going to be able to do it. Um, so it's, it's just annoying. But I will say one thing that does bring it up is all of the action scenes that she's in rarely have words. You just get to sort of feel the action. So, like, like I said, I'm a sucker for any of these panels that have the art going over the into the gutter. But look how cool that is. Ultimately, while this book is really cool um, in some ways, like I think the ideas they had were cool, but they they just didn't come together, unfortunately. So I would not spend fifty cents to find more of these comics in the slightest. I have to say that uh, not unless the art gets a little more consistent and. Um, and not unless the writing actually makes a little more sense down the line. Like, this is just issue one, so they should be trying to get me into the world, and by the end, I'm like, uh, why, why were... Oh, here, hold on. Okay, like, like, let's see if you understand anything. Sporeland spreads a thousand miles in each direction of the dragon that waits for Sim. At the eastern edge, that poison absolute... Okay, so Sim by the way, is that woman. So the dragon and Sim are not the same thing, which is what it first sounded like when I read this. <sighs> that waits for Sim. At the eastern edge of that poison absolute, a creamy nimbus pierces the hopelessness. What? So, so like, there's a tower. An iron spike surrounded by th iron thorns wreathed in blue and purple. The alchemist's sanctuary. Ooh, very cool. Why is that important? They'll never tell you in this issue. They have, there's no explanation of what's going on, really. So, anyway, Dark Engine number one was a fail. If we were at home, I would spray paint it. But since, uh, you know, since we we're having a day of inconsistencies, we'll just rip out like two pages. We'll just we'll just take out two. How about how about this splash page? We'll just, there's one. And then, uh, come, on, come on, there's two. I don't really feel like doing it anymore. I almost made it to the garbage. That's that's the oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the campfire picture. Like it just doesn't to me. It doesn't have that same like pop. Like look at the fire. The fire looks kind of shitty, and I really like the artwork actually. So. Eh, I just wish it felt more consistent. I don't know why. It just doesn't... I don't know. Maybe you and the audience can tell me why the artwork doesn't seem so good or why I just am freaking out about it. But either way, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Do not buy The Dark Engine. Sorry, Ryan Burton and John Bevins. This is not for me. Later on.